the CDC warning doctors to watch for signs of a serious bacterial infection that's now on the rise. Here to explain, Dr. Ali Raja, Deputy Chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Mass General. Good to see you, Dr. Raja. You too, Erica. All right, Dr. Raja, let's start with this specific bacteria. Why are health officials so concerned about it? Thanks, Ben. So we're talking about a specific strain of Neisseria meningitidis, which is the bacteria that causes meningitis. Um, the CDC just reported that last year, back in 2023, there were 422 cases in the U.S., which was the highest number in a decade. But already, so far as this year, we've already seen 143 cases. That's almost double last year. And the other weird thing is it typically affects young children or young adults, but this strain seems to be disproportionately infecting patients who are in the 30 to 60 year range, as well as patients who are black or have HIV. Okay, so the CDC says some of the symptoms, too, are unusual. So what are you seeing? Yeah, Erica, that's, that also makes this trickier. So patients infected with Neisseria meningitidis usually have symptoms of meningitis, things like a headache or a really stiff neck. But a lot of the patients that the CDC reported had bloodstream infections instead, and so had more vague symptoms like fevers or fatigue or rashes. And so that makes it much harder to diagnose. And so what the CDC is recommending is that clinicians just have an overall higher suspicion of meningococcal disease for all their patients. All right, so as you know, there are meningococcal vaccines available. Do they offer any protection against this specific infection? Yeah, Ben, fortunately they do. So the CDC recommends that people for whom the meningococcal vaccine is are recommended they get they, that they make sure they get current so that it's all kids ages 11 to 12. They get their primary shot and they get a booster at 16. And that also includes p patients at higher risk, like those with HIV, who typically get a primary series and then boosters every three to five years. The other great news, Ben, is that for this strain that the CDC just described, first line antibiotics still work well. So once it's diagnosed, it's treatable. All right, Dr. Ali Raja with Mass General. Dr. Raja, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. Thanks, Ben.